Hey girl. Oh hey, how's it going? What you up to? Um, I'm just checking my Instagram. Oh, what's Instagram? I'm sorry? You don't know what Instagram is? Hey guys, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel. This conversation may be familiar to you if you have heard of Marshall McLuhan's media ecology where one fish asks the other fish, how's the water? The other fish reply, what the hell is water? We're immersed in the world of media. As of right now, you're watching this video on the media platform YouTube and I use my cell phone and headphones to record this video. I wrote my script on the iPad and sharing to you on my laptop. Media ecology is a study of media as the ecosystem the process and environment. According to McLuhan, technological abnormality does not necessarily demand our attention because it is not hard to notice new stuff and differences, but what we need to focus on is our everyday experience of technology. Why do we say that the medium is shaping us? Because it involves our life so much, so much, that it becomes an extension of ourselves. Hey, I just tagged you in a post, go watch. <laughs> That's so funny. In the first session today, we'll look at how Instagram shapes us in the digital age. According to the media ecology, Instagram extended our senses of seeing, hearing, and touching. Seeing is because it allows you to see photos from your friends and family, the athletics and celebrities you follow, hearing, such that you can listen to the newly released music or videos from the artists you follow or friends that play an instrument. The touching feature, which is also what makes all of these happen, allow you to take, edit, or share photos and videos. In our second section, we'll explore the new electronic age Instagram is bringing us into. This aligns with Marshall McLuhan's idea of Global Village, where a worldwide electronic community makes everyone's business become so visible and relatable, while Instagram is ritualizing the human race. People see stuff happening from all around the world. You may be watching your friend's story in Toronto, but the next second, you swipe to stories in Tokyo, LA, or Paris. It brings us connection with anyone, anywhere, instantaneously. In our third session, we will talk about what are some concerns we face with Instagram. We live in this electronic environment where privacy is a luxury or a curse of the past. Yes, you can make your account private on Instagram, but we're talking more than just that. As soon as you register on a social media platform, your information is kept even if you delete your account. We may be thinking that we're sending private messages to people, but the receiver may be taking a screenshot and sending it to another person the next moment. More so, big data is watching you. As we give power and control to the digital media as you click that very first button of accepting terms and policy when you first sign up on the app. Thank you so much for watching.